Hello, I'm Nick Grimshaw. This is the Radio 1 Breakfast Show. And taking on the Heart Rate Monitor Challenge today is Maisie Williams. Hi. Hi, Maisie Williams. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm very good. How are you? I'm nervous. Yeah, good. I feel like my heart rate is already going up. It is already going up. <laughs> Maisie currently lay down in a hospital bed. Yeah. Medical professionals have attached you to a heart rate monitor thing. Okay. So your resting heart rate right now, Maisie, is around... Oh God, it's uh, going up. It's it really, really is going uh, up. Yeah. Just take a couple of breaths, Maisie. Just relax. A few deep breaths for me. Yep. So we're at a 90 now, stable. Oh, really? Yeah, look at that. That's all you need wow. is. Yeah. Okay. Now, I've been in contact with a few different people, some friends, some family, some colleagues, and we're going to test today what raises your heart rate. Okay. Um, just to confirm, you have no idea what I'm going to ask you or what is going to be shown to you today. No, absolutely not. I have no, no idea. OK. Are you ready for this? No. <laughs> no. OK. That's the wrong answer. Let's go. OK. Now, we're going to start with a, a very simple topic. Okay. We're going to start with love. Well, not love, but a variant of the love family, lust. I say lust, you say... I don't know. <laughs> OK, <laughs> incorrect. Um, we're going to show you this person. Wow. Pedro Pascal. Oh, here we go. In a recent Q&A online, you were asked, how was it not fainting around Pedro Pascal? You said, very difficult. I'm madly in love with him. Yeah. And it's quite, you know, that everyone has sounds, a crush on him. But now that sounds really, like, crazy. Serious, yeah. <laughs> How would you feel if you came face to face with him knowing now that, you know, you've declared yeah, your love for him? I think it's fine, because he's, like, a friend. Yeah. You said, like, I'm madly in love with your friend, right? No. Yeah, when you're just like, oh, you, we've had such a good day. No. Okay, no, well... No, 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 I think you're acting. <laughs> um, the next lust person, please. Okay. Holy... Look at those abs. Wow. Kit Harrington there. He um, is the heartthrob of the century. Yeah, how is it going to work and looking at that? Yeah, but it's like, I've known Kit since... He was fresh out of drama school. Right. Hasn't always been Kit Harrington. And he was a big fat mess then. <laughs> Let me show you a picture now of somebody else. Oh. I am punching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this here is your lovely boyfriend, Ollie. He's amazing. The heart rate is going through the roof here, just when she sees him. We're at 122. I'm like fully blushing as well. Oh God, he's so cute. Um, now, when I said I've been chatting to your friends and your family and your colleagues... You weren't joking, were you? No, I've been speaking to this guy. No yeah. way! We've oh, been God. speaking to Ollie. Are you nervous about this? Is Ollie the type of guy that would, you know, embarrass you on Radio 1? No, I've got him well trained. Right. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I think he'd be great. Well, he has... He has spilled the beans on you. What? He's got a story that he wants to share with the world about you. It's quite embarrassing. Don't do it's it then. It's don't. Quite embarrassing. Well, I don't no, want to do it. No, let's not do it. Any... Let's not do it. <laughs> Any ideas what this story could be? Don't do it. Why don't you read this message, which will appear on screen for everybody listening and watching? Tell Radio 1 about what happened in the hotel room. Oh, yeah, OK, I remember. This is fun. His brother is in Miney Lang, um, and we would always go to their shows. Mm -hmm. And we were at a particular show in Bournemouth, and it was the morning after. I went to the bathroom, and I was completely naked uh -huh. the morning after I woke up. Randomly, coming out of the bathroom, some hotel person came into our room and it was exactly the same time that I came out of the bathroom so we both walked into each other I was completely naked <laughs> from head to toe and he was like ah! and I was like ah! and he just slammed the door and that was it, <laughs> that I was just... it like, morning <laughs> what a morning wake up here was... I am the heart rate at 140 here, Maisie. Yeah. Wow, a, a, a turbulent time there for it the life was. of Maisie Williams. Yeah. OK, we're going to move on now to somebody else. Uh, someone you know very well has sent me a video message. Um, can you guess who this might be? Is it Sophie? No. no she didn't care. No, no she, 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 she's over it. Don't um, know. It's this friend. Hi, Maisie. I'm in your bed. I've been asked to share some embarrassing stories about you. Oh, no. I thought maybe you'd like to tell the Radio 1 listeners how you came in possession of that sign. <laughs> or I could share the story of the time you had tantrums in New York when you got a little bit hangry. Or the time I bet you some money to go shopping in Tesco wearing 
a little bit of a dodgy outfit. <laughs> oh, but no. then I decided, instead of airing your laundry like that, why don't I just air your laundry <laughs> like this? Oh my god. <laughs> So, which one do you want me to tackle first? Well, there's a few things here in my medical records. Uh, the massive sign, maybe, we should begin with. I massive mean, that was sign. fast, wasn't it? Um, yeah. I was back home at a bar, uh -huh. a pub. I was very, very drunk, mm. and I saw the sign, and in my little drunken haze, I thought, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> Maisel's Vice, and it's not. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I, I'm friends with a lot of guys, and like guys really egg each other on when they're drunk. So they're like, "Go on, mate, go get it down, go on." And it's like right at the top of this pub, there's loads of signs right over the wall. And I was like climbing up this table. One of the staff was like, "Can I help you?" And I was like, "I just really want to take the sign. Is that possible?" <laughs> they were like, "We're getting it refurbished in like a week, so go for it. Go for gold." Oh, I have it. So I cut it down, and now it lives with me. Oh, that's a and sweet story. And it still story. doesn't say my name. It still doesn't say Maisie Williams. No. <laughs> yeah, we'll do you an eye test before you leave the hospital. Yeah, thank you. Um, to round things off, I have one last surprise for you, Maisie Williams. Someone who's spent a lot of time working with you professionally. This person has an Oscar, this person has a BAFTA, this person is like, wow, good acting. The real deal. Yeah, please welcome to the room, Dr. Eddie Redmayne. <laughs> Hello. I've got a clipboard. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. What is it about a clipboard that instantly makes you feel Special. authoritative? <laughs> welcome, Dr. Red. Hi. He was down at A&E. Yeah. Um, he's, 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 he's back. Um, <laughs> she's doing all right, she's stable. Okay. We've seen the heart rate go from sort of a mid 80s right. all the way up to like a 140. But you've worked with Maisie, you know Maisie. Any horrible stories well, that you'd like to I mean, air with the world right I, now I, to just blow up that I mission? don't know about the horrible stories because I thought, wait, basically, it's just about Game of Thrones spoilers because I know there's nothing to mm. get the Game of Thrones cast more mm. worried right. than giving stuff away. Because you know the ending, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so the I hell? thought maybe I could just suggest some endings mm. and by looking at the, th the monitor, this we could kind good. of work out what it's going to be. So, thinking. so we're at 98. Right, so first off, your character ends up bossing it as Queen of the Whole Seven Kingdoms. Oh, it's gone, lowering. That's gone down. Yeah. Oh. Now, either in my medical professional history, that's correct and she's trying to control yeah, totally. it. Totally. She's done that she's deep just, breathing thing. Yeah, she's doing that her. breathing thing. Or she's just like not, she's, oh, she's blacking out. Now it's going up. Yeah. Okay, okay. As you're suggesting that yeah. she's double crossing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We are and working with an extra set as well. a sweat coming. Okay. Yeah. A little yeah. bit of glow. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Um, so that's looking quite encouraging. Mm -hmm. That's uh, very good. The White Walkers kill everyone mm -hmm. and have a big old party. We're going down again here now. You and Hot Pie get it on, become a thing, have kids, <laughs> full works. <laughs> 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 it's blowing up. It is blowing up. Okay. <laughs> 103 there. Well, Maisie, this concludes your medical examination of BBC Radio 1. Um, our reports are saying you're, you're alive. You're alive. Yay! You're alive. So, yeah, Maisie Williams, you're Thank alive you. and well. Thank you, Dr. Eddie. Right. Has there ever been a thing in which you've, like, someone's come on here and you suddenly realise that they have... An issue. Like, real <laughs> issue. No heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, it's Nick Grimshaw here. I hope you enjoyed that. Do not forget you can listen to me on the Radio 1 Breakfast Show weekdays from 6.30 till 10 or any time that you want by downloading the BBC iPlayer radio app. And if you liked this video, hit subscribe and get more things like this. One.